What are some ways that you can value a business? There are various ways you can value a business and depending on the specific business, some valuation methodology might be more appropriate than others. But typically speaking, valuation approaches are split up into two categories, a relative valuation and intrinsic valuation. If we take a look at relative valuation approaches, we can look at precedent transaction. This analysis assigns a value to a company based on what similar companies have been bought and sold at in the past. Another relative valuation approach is the comparables analysis. Here you would value a company based on what similar companies are being traded at on the open market. An intrinsic valuation approach would be the DCF or the discounted cash flow. This type of analysis would assign a value to a business based on what its own ability is to produce cash flow. So you value the business based on how much cash flow the company can produce and you discount its future earnings into present value. Another way you can value your business is by doing an LBO analysis. This type of analysis will tell you how much a financial sponsor or typically a private equity firm would have to pay in order to take control of a business. More exotic valuation approaches would be the, some of the part valuation analysis. For this type of analysis, you would value individual business units as opposed to one business. And the idea here is to value individual units, add them up, and then you get the total sum of the total business. Another approach is the liquidation approach. Here you would sell off all of the assets at the market rate and pay off all the liabilities and whatever is left is the value of the business. However, the simplest way to value a business would be to simply see its market cap or how much it's being traded at in the open market if it is a publicly trading company. So let's break down this interview question to see exactly how you can answer it. Essentially, whenever your interviewer is going to ask you what are some ways you can value a company, your interviewer is testing to see if you've done your homework, if you actually know what it is that you're going to be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. They're testing to see if you know what you've gotten yourself into. A core skill of an investment banking analyst and associate is being able to value companies using various methodologies. And if you have done your research properly, then you should know some of them. You might not need to know all of them, but you should know the five major ones. Again, which are comparables analysis, precedent transactions, a DCF, an M&A, accretion or dilution, and an LBO analysis. You have to comfortably be able to walk through each of them with your interviewer. Now, you might also need to know some specific methodologies if you're going to be applying for M&A roles. So for example, if you're going to be valuing a bank, then you should use the dividend discount model, which is far better than other methodologies. But regardless, you have to know how to walk through each of these methodologies. Now, you should also prepare for some common follow-up questions. For example, which of the methodologies would result in the highest valuation of a company? Or how would you value a startup? or walk me through an M&A model. If you would like the answers to all of the follow-up questions as well as how to walk through each of these methodologies, then check out our investment banking interview and recruitment guide and our course on financial valuation. Alternatively, you can check out our other interview questions and answers on this channel. And as usual, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in our next video.